I currently have here a quick tour through my current mole skin. I like doing weird things like this. Sometimes it starts because there's a stain and I start covering everything up. So yeah, that's number two. The lighting of where I'm sitting at right now is not very good. Number three. For some reason, I like this one. I like this one too. This is very random. Most of the time when I start out, um, there is no particular theme in mind. I just go with the flow. If I feel there's a, you know, there's a stain somewhere that I put my hand down, then I cover it up with something. I like patterns like this where you know your mind just goes all over the paper. <laughs> this one is very random. Uh, this one, no big deal. I was just doodling. Very random. No particular idea in mind to hang on a minute. Turning the page. Uh, this one was almost abandoned. I did not like the way it turned out. Oh, I like this. It's a praying mantis. A friend, uh, a friend uh, has this interest in insects, so I stole one of her photographs. Thanks, Christina. Again, another praying mantis. For the life of me, I can't turn the page. Very geometric. It's uh, one of those days where I don't really bother to think and I just let the pen wander. Yeah, lizard. <laughs> Again, something very random. Sometimes, you know, things like this take off, uh, mainly because of the stains. I try and cover up as much as I can and that becomes a template for the next round. Oh, I like this. I like this one as well. Hold on. Somehow it reminds me of the Grinch. This was a statue of a swan I saw in Perth and I just did the outline and filled in the filled in the spaces. An owl. Uh, this one started out promising but I abandoned it in the end. Well, then we could turn. Uh, started as a very random thing. In the end, it turned out to be a poodle. Uh, obviously, another case where I stay, you know, there are stains from the previous page. And um, I just cover it up. I don't really like this for some reason. A lot of these, uh, depending on the type of ink you use, they start because of stains leaking in from the previous page. So I cover up and then I, it takes off from there. So therefore I do not have any set pattern in mind when I start something new. It all depends on how bad the stains are. Now this is a photo, uh, taken off a photo that um, was posted by a friend. Thank you. It started as my normal dark and white contrasting and this is the first time ever that I've actually filled in colour on one of my random pieces. 
Now this is where it gets interesting. You see the stains at the back of the page and the stains on the current page and that's what I'm going to be working off 